Hey guys, I'm Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. We have a mystery box to open. It's that time of year. Time for you to buy the best deals you can find on Black Friday for you. Right? My wife does not want ham radio gear. You guys are not buying things for your wives based on my recommendations, unless your wife is a ham. So, it's all about us. This is where we can find some cool deals. So I've got a couple, three things to share with you today. Um, I bought a mystery box from Gigaparts. Let's take a look at it. How are you? Today, we have an unboxing. I'm not much of an unboxer usually, but I'm going to make an exception today. This is the $100 mystery box from Gigaparts. I ordered this yesterday on Black Friday in the morning, and this showed up via FedEx today which was amazing. I was like, what? Uh, I ordered some other stuff. That's not here yet. There'll probably be a video on that when it gets here. Uh, I was amazed that this showed up today. I didn't expect to see this till Monday or Tuesday. So this is the $100 mystery box from Gigaparts. Um, I have no idea what's in it. I've never got one of these before. So we're gonna give this a shot and you're gonna see it with me on camera. And uh, unfortunately, I left my pocket knife in the house, so we're going to have to improvise, adapt, and overcome in a military manner. And I find that a screwdriver blade works pretty darn good for opening boxes. So let's give this a quick tear and see what we got. This is like Christmas. Now, Gigaparts has, and I'll put some links uh, down... I figure out what camera I'm looking at. I'll put some links down below in the description. I think they have, if I remember correctly, and I'll update it on screen, they have three different mystery box, three or four different mystery box um, sizes, prices. So this is the $100 one, which I believe is the biggest one that they have. Um, so let's find out what we get. Uh, I believe this says that it has a minimum $200 value on this mystery box. So here we go. We're doing this together, folks. What have I got? What fabulousness is in here? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I can tell you this did not, this is not part of the mystery box. Uh, when we talk about a bury in the lead, uh, this is a rig expert AA 1400. I bought this from Gigaparts yesterday as well, and I assumed it was coming in different shipping. Uh, this is not part of the mystery box. You will not get a, a Rig Expert AA1400 if you get the mystery box from Gigaparts, okay? I just, just to be clear about that, not, not part of, the, <laughs> this is not part of the mystery box, okay? We'll talk about that in a minute. Might as well roll it all into one, right? Okay, so receipt, um, a thing that says blah, blah, blah. If your package is tow up, call us some airbags we'll dispose of those what have we got oh my goodness okay so let's start with the small stuff on top we have a yellow thing and this looks like a I'm trying to find a way to neatly open this well oh there it is see the one time i don't have a pocket knife on me is when i actually need one this looks like a work mat kind of deal I think no this is a dry bag so this is a dry bag to uh, put your gear in so you uh, it's large I'd say that's probably a good 24 to 30 inches deep um, so this is a heavy vinyl bag and you can put your radio etc in the bag so that's that's pretty cool and then it has a, a buckle here to fasten to fasten together uh, Velcro fasteners at the top. I would assume maybe there's more in the bag. No, that's it. I don't know. But in any case, so there is a a, a dry bag to transport your gear in, and that's kind of swank. And it's bright yellow, so uh, you will not get confused. Uh, it has instructions. Fold three to five times around the stiffening blade. Close the buckle. And it has those in German and in Spanish as well. I uh, don't sprechen Sie Deutsch or Habla de Espanol. 
uh, at all. Oh, that's with it. So there's the strap that goes with it. I missed that. It fell out of the bag. Okay. Mm. So it's got uh, it's got these buckles to fasten it together at top, and then this one to go long ways uh, fore and aft to secure the bag. And that's a nice, that is really heavy um, vinyl. And it's that weatherized stuff with like plastic on the inside, a seal. So that's pretty neat. All right. Um, and I don't know, I don't know, I'm going to rewrap this later. I don't have a use for that at the moment, but we'll get to it. More air packs. Don't need those. We have that and this, which is fascinating. What is this? This looks like a case or radio. And it is. Oh, and it has stuff inside. So we got some batteries and an SD card as well. These are smart tools. Oh, that's neat. Interesting. So these are rechargeable USB batteries. So they have a uh, micro USB plug. Each battery is rechargeable 500 times. These are AAA. Smart tools, the world's first micro USB rechargeable battery. Interesting. I always worry about my wife throwing out the rechargeables we have. I think I have lost. Since I have an odd number of rechargeables I can never lay my hands on, I feel that some have gone in the trash. So that's pretty cool. We have a 16 gig SD card. Awesome. These things, you know, SD cards in general, and this is a Patriot brand. I, I don't know if that's a good brand or a bad one. It doesn't ring any bells one way or the other. I think this is an okay brand. Um, SD cards are always great. And I, I go through a lot of those playing with one thing or another, you know, then they do eventually die. You can only read write to them so many times. And, you know, these are always great to have no matter what size for loading up a Raspberry Pi to test something or, or for cameras or whatever. And it comes, it's a micro SD card and it comes with an adapter. So I always try to have a stock of these in my bag that I take at, to work every day, my go bag at work and uh, a stock of them in a desk drawer, both out here in the shop and, and in the house. So a 16 gig SD card, pretty cool. And then a case with some little dividers. Uh, this is uh, one of those, um, you know, vinyl kind of, not vinyl, I don't know what you call that, Cordura nylon uh, covered, fairly rigid case. And that looks like uh, that would hold a 705 or an IC, or uh, yeah, an IC705 or a Shegu 5105, a Lab 599 Discovery, or a uh, my up and coming. Jagu 6100, which is not here yet. Come on, Radioddity, shag it up. So that's a nice, a nice little case for a small portable radio, or if not a radio, antennas and wires and tools and, and bits and bobs. So that's, that's nice. All right, the big toys, the big toys. I don't know, you guys can probably see all this in the, on the camera. Headphones. So that's nice. These are super luxe. Super Lux HD 672 headphones. These are the semi open style, lightweight, studio monitoring grade, 32 ohm impedance, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Snazzy. Let's see what they look like. And they have an adapter, they're wired. Um, eighth inch stereo plug on the end, and then a uh, quarter inch adapter. And it looks like there's a, a little case to go with the headphones. So nice. See, I may end up re-gifting some of this stuff. My daughter, who is 10, seems to go through a lot of headphones and I'm not quite sure what the child does with them, but she is tough on headphones. Let's see if we can get this thing. Back where it'll close. So, HD672 headphones. Let's move those out of the way. Oh my goodness. And this is the, uh, the big prize here. This is a switching mode power supply. Uh, let's see if we see some specs on this. 
Oh, snap. A 30 watt switching power supply. We were talking about power supplies on uh, Ham Radio Dude stream last night, I believe, on the second Black Friday FT8 off we had. And there was some discussion about switching power supplies. So switching power supplies are cheaper to manufacture, lighter, um, they provide power. Electrically, they're a little noisier than a linear power supply. Linear is best, but linears are big and heavy. Um, I don't have a linear power supply. I have three or four power supplies that I use for different things. All are ham radio style power supplies, if, if that's actually a thing. But all the ones I have are switching power supplies as well. Uh, so let me, uh, let me pick this up where we can see this on camera and take a look at this. That probably sounds terrible on the mic, doesn't it? Okay. Lord, that's loud. So on the back, we have two binding posts. Uh, this is um, 110 volt only, made in China. Uh, on the front, we have a meter that switches uh, between volts and amps. And then, of course, your power switch. Uh, there's a noise offset switch and a 10 amp cigarette lighter style power plug as well. So, uh, you know, I'm sad it doesn't have power poles on it, but it's got binding posts, which is fine. Um, there's not many of you that haven't made a binding post to um, power pole adapter, are there? Can't be. More than one or two of you. <laughs> I've made several. So, that's a nice power supply. And I, I could look up the cost on all this stuff online, but I don't. I knew I was getting a mystery box. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with all this stuff. I think it's all pretty good swag, honestly. Um, now, how this goes back in here, I have no idea. Let's see. It's got to go like that. And, of course, then it comes with a plug. And that goes back in there like so, maybe. You know, theoretically. It came in this box. Eh, who needs that? So the noise offset, let's see what it says about a noise offset. Noise offset volume control. Adjust it to eliminate the pulse noise of the switching power supply. This function is especially designed for communication. Effectiveness may vary because of the frequency and mode. So if you're getting switching power supply noise uh, on your rig when you're trying to uh, listen or talk, you can adjust it with that, with that lever and that will vary the switching frequency apparently. So that's pretty cool. So, there we go. My very first mystery box. Um, I think this, is a, this was a pretty good value, honestly. Um, I didn't really need headphones or a switching power supply. I was kind of hoping for, I don't know, something else. But as far as value goes, and it is a mystery box, right? It's a total mystery box. Who knows what you're going to get. But I'm pretty pleased with, uh, with what we got here. The case will come in handy. I have a I have a 6100 in route, as I mentioned. Uh, if Radio Oddity ever gets it actually shipped, um, temporarily offline says he's already got a ship notification. We ordered on the same day, probably within the same hour. Where is mine, Radio Oddity? Uh, we got our dry bag, and of course we had our rechargeable batteries and an SD card in there. So that is. That is not a bad haul at all for a mystery box. Um, the power supply is useful, you know, always. So, pretty cool. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. If you would, give me a thumbs up down there in the right below my video if you liked the video, or click dislike if you didn't like the video. Either way, that kind of lets me know. Ring the bell. That way you'll get notified uh, whenever I post new content. I appreciate it, y'all. And feel free to share it with your friends. Let everybody know. Thanks. Have a good one.